ever since the Nerf to Lightweight perk, I am seeing more people using the Agile perk now, especially for snipers and shotguns. But is it worth using? Let's see what is the truth of the matter here. Agile does two things. First is the increased object mantling speed, which basically means we climb over objects faster. And next is the reduced aim time for weapons after sprinting, which is basically our sprints to fire speed. Now, object mantling speed isn't that important, why we will mainly focus on the sprints to fire speed. Sprint to fire is literally what it says when we either have fire or ADS from running, there is a delay and this delay is our sprint to fire speed. Different guns have this as a separate number, with SMGs usually having faster sprints to fire speed, while LMGs and snipers having slower sprints to fire speed. Sprints to fire is divided furthermore into sprints to hip fire so when we hip fire from running and sprints to ADS which is when we open the ADS from running and for testing the agile perk I basically calculated the sprints to fire values for certain weapons like FR556 which without the agile perk has 14 frames and 9 frames respectively for sprints to hip fire and sprints to ADS but with the agile perk the sprint to hip fire is the same but the sprint to ADS is faster I then looked at Fennec which has the slowest sprint to hip fire for SMGs and we have 12 frames and 6 frames respectively, which is 12 frames and 5 frames when using the agile perk. So we can see agile does something but it isn't doing much and only affects the sprints to ADS which is useful as most of the times we are ADSing from sprinting, unless using shotguns or playing hip fire range. But impacting by only one frame isn't a big enough difference. But let's see if there is more of a difference when using slower guns like LMGs and snipers. For chopper we have 14 frames and 9 frames respectively and we again see one frame faster sprints to ADS just like what we saw with the other guns. And finally for sniper I tested DLQ and we see the same pattern again. So going by person values, Agile perk is impacting the FR556 by 11.11% and the Fennec by 16.66%. The chopper is the same as FR556 at 11.11% and DLQ is 9.09%. So Agile perk approximately approximately makes the sprints to fire faster by 12%, which isn't much as it only impacts the sprints to ADS by one frame in most cases. Thus for balance suggestions, make this 12% around 35%. So for weapons like Fennec which has 6 frames as base, we will have 2 frames faster sprints to ADS which is fine. But for slower guns like snipers, we will have 4 frames faster sprints to fire, which will be really beneficial especially for snipers, and we will see more of this perk being used. Also, right now Agile perk does not do anything to impact the sprints to hip fire, so allow it to make sprints to hip fire also faster. But if possible, have separate profiles for hip fire and ADS, where ADS is around 35% and hip fire is around 20%, as 35% will be too much for sprints to hip fire. And these changes will make Agile perk good and usable, as in its current state, I don't recommend using this perk, as one frames is too less of a difference to be worth it. And instead of wasting this attachment slot we can use some other perk which will be more worth it. Leave a like and comment something nice to help support the video and do help spread this information around by sharing this video on your discord and social media. I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care guys and bye.